Hey, uh, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's late. Uh, shot a bunch of videos, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is, uh, it's a little different video. I'm gonna show you how to properly clean your iPhone. I mean, this is a precious device. You spend at least $1.99 on it, some people $2.99. You want a way to protect your device. Uh, first off, oh, get a case. I mean, come on. I mean, I love, I know people love the feel of a naked iPhone because there's nothing more than I love than this. Just no screen shields, no anything. But you know, you want to protect your investment. Uh, it's well worth spending an extra 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60 dollars uh, on a case to protect it properly. And uh, I mean, it's it's worth it, guys. Um, first, we're gonna talk about cases. You want a case that's durable. You want a case that can take a beating. Uh, this one right here is a perfect example. Uh, I just dropped it again. Uh, the Switch Easy Capsule Rebel. Now people are thinking, are you are you sponsored by Switch Easy? What's the deal? No, I I just really love this case. It's really decent. It's re no, it's it's beyond decent. It's really good. Um, this soft shell gives it the scratch protection, and then this harder membrane uh, gives it the shock resistance. It it's a rock. This case is awesome. Um, another good one is the iFrogs. Um, it looks pretty decent too, and uh, it does a good job. Uh, there are uh, the Griffin Clarify, you know, um, it, it does an all right job. I mean, not great. Uh, silicone cases do great because they bounce off the table when you drop them, literally. Uh, iSkin Revo 2, that's a pricier case for sure. Uh, the Switch Easy Colors. And uh, there are some cases like the Contour Flick. They do offer protection, but not a whole lot. I mean, if you don't like bulk, this one's way to go. Um, it's This is more of a scratch protector. You can slide your flick across the table and you won't scratch the back of the iPhone. But in terms of drop resistance, uh, I, I look for a bigger case. You can win this, by the way. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's cases. Screen shields. Um, there's a lot of screen shields that are available. Some I hate, some I love, you know? Uh, the invisible shield, uh, for example. The front screen, when you put that on the screen, I don't like it. It's sticky. It, I love the feel of this glass. I don't like the matte protectors, um, although if you do, check out Power Support, the anti-glare. Uh, they're good. Um, there's a few companies that I really, really like, and then there's a few companies to maybe stay away from. Um, I'm trying to think, guys. Um, hello. Oh. Okay, Switch Easy uh, makes some really good screen shields. I mean, they throw them in with your cases now when you buy a, a case, they give you two of them. But, I mean, they just do a really, really good job at protecting the front of the screen. They don't come up, they don't peel off, they're just apply, be done. And they're good. They're good screen shields. Um, another company, the... Uh, I'm so sorry, guys, I cannot think. Uh, the Ultra Thins from... Uh, Oh my heck, I cannot even think. But there are a lot of screen shields that are good out there. Some to stay away from. Um, Griffin, they don't make the best screen protectors. I don't like them. Stay away from them. Um, but other than that, oh, the SGP Ultra Thin, those are really slick. Uh, I love those screen protectors. They are a little stickier, but they are good screen protectors. Okay, now cleaning. You can already see from my fingers and all the oils that your iPhone, you know if you have one, and your iPod Touch, they get fingerprints all over them. Uh, so do not clean them with Windex. You don't want ammonia-based cleaner. Uh, you do not want alcohol-based cleaner. I mean, you can, but I would recommend you don't. Uh, don't use water because it can drip down into the phone and uh, destroy the parts. What you want is something that is made for doing this. Uh, this is Monster Screen Clean. Now, I got this at Best Buy for $14.95. It's regularly $19 for that and a microfiber. Now, that's a lot. I mean, 20 bucks. But this bottle, I'll tell you, is going to last you a long, long time. I've been using this for a week now, and I'm a total freak about it. And look how much I've used. Not even the top centimeter, and there's still a full bottle left. So uh, this is the screen clean. I like it. It's for your. It's not necessarily for your phones. The iClear. Check out iClear. I K L E A R. Uh, they make good stuff. And uh, that's that. Third, microfibers. Uh, what to clean with? Um, 
There's a bunch of different companies that make microfibers. You want ones that actually have fibers in them. The one that Apple gives you, and let's see, where can I find one? Uh, I can't find one actually right now, but they're just the black ones. They're not, they're more of a chamois. They're not a microfiber. They're not actual fibers. It's kind of just a cloth. And I mean, they work all right, but this really just takes all the marks out, and you don't even have to work at it. Uh, to work these, fold your cloth up, take your spray, and spray it on to the cloth, onto the microfiber, not directly onto your device. Um, spray one side, just two or three is all you need, I do two, and uh, it does me quite well. Uh, you take your phone or your device and just wipe it. I mean, give it a gentle wipe, uh, get all over, and then uh, you take the reverse side and wipe it dry. Uh, these are supposed to have non-street dry, dry, streak-free, but I, I dry them anyway. Uh, do the back. And then for those of you who want to know, when you stick it in a case, make sure the case has no shavings, no flash in there, or else uh, you're going to have some problems. Um, is that a scratch on my... No, that was lint. Okay, I was going to murder someone. <laughs> Um, a few other things people don't do. My first original iPhone, I actually cracked the top of the screen. Uh, I, I cracked the ejector tray, the SIM ejector, and it went from there to my home button. I cracked this one right here, and it's because I didn't cl keep them clean. I let dirt and crap get in there from my pockets and lint, and uh, it just got all bad. So what you want to do occasionally, I do this once, uh, once every four days probably. I, you can go once every two weeks most likely. But what you do is pull your SIM card out and uh, just give this a, a blowout. <sighs> just blow in it. You can even stick this down in there and rub, rub it out uh, because you don't want dirt and stuff in there. Take your tray, wipe it down. I did it today so I don't have to. And uh, take your SIM card and uh, wipe it down. I mean it's not that tricky. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's not, it doesn't take time, it's easy, I mean, it, guys, it's just to, just do it. I mean, uh, on the bottom, speakers and microphones, they both get crap in them. So take this, this is the SIM injector tool you got, paper clip works fine. Um, just take it, rub it around, uh, get all the crap out, you can do it the same to the screws. And then in the dock, when you get here, people are like, whoa, what do you do now? Same thing. Link gets stuck in there, just pull it. You'll be amazed at how much crud you pull out if you don't do it often. Like I did it my first time the day before I got my phone replaced. I'd had it three months, never did it. I It was disgusting. I pulled out like a strand that long out of my SIM tray or out of my dock connector. So uh, same with the hold switch. Get it in there, gently go like that, and uh, you'll get most of the stuff out. Now that's that uh, speaker, you can do that if you want. I don't ever get stuff in there, so I don't have to worry about it. But uh, I mean guys, it's just common sense. I mean, if you want to have your device looking good, if you want, it doesn't take time. It's just a few minutes every week, and uh, you'll keep your iPhone looking, or iPod Touch looking as good as new uh, as I drop it. Don't worry, it's on a soft cloth. Um, so, I mean, it's really easy to take care of your investment, and uh, it's worth it. Having a beautiful phone, there's nothing like it. Look, not a scratch on, well, a little teeny scratch on the corner. But other than that, not a scratch on that Apple logo. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care of your investment that you spent on. Uh, this is That Snazzy iPhone Guy, and uh, I'm heading out. So, uh, see you all later.